Welcome to today's program. This is Dibia Wangu Chendo. The bind they won't know. I'm going to cheer in Nazare. I'm a no 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 ma. They won't know, Dalo. Happy New Moon. Good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you are, in any part of the world that you are listening to me, I wish you success. I wish you progress, good luck in all your endeavors. Today we are going to talk about knowing your ancestral foundation. Knowing ancestral foundation. How many people know their ancestral foundation? This is a question, a poser. To everyone listening to me, do you know your foundation? Do you know what makes up your foundation? Do you know the spirit backing up your foundation? Are you from a spiritual ancestral lineage or just an ordinary lineage? There was uh, there is this song by our brother uh, Flavor when he sang Ema Huonyi Ibu. Depending on your dialect. Do you know yourself? Do you know who you are? Now, let us use that question. Let me rephrase it. Do you know your foundation? Your foundation can make you or break you. Foundation is everything in life. Because foundation is the spiritual root of every human born and nurtured, nurtured in this world. And humans live on earth because everyone comes from a kindred that has foundational deities. Let me explain this. That everyone comes from a kindred that has foundational deities. You shouldn't be surprised. You shouldn't start shouting blood of Jesus. You shouldn't scream. Don't be like an ofeke. Somebody who doesn't know anything concerning ordinary spirituality. That is when the term ofeke is used. There are deities. Huh? There are spirits protecting that your foundation. Do you know them? This is what you should find out. This is what the, uh, makes you who you are. This is what makes you a distinct person, whether in your character or behavior or otherwise. Do you know these deities? Because once deities are mentioned, people become afraid. More. Some call uh, them alosi. Do you know them? Do you know those spirits protecting your family? Do you know the ones in charge of fertility? Do you know those ones in charge of war? Because they have so many functions. And knowing them will help you a lot. Knowing their function will help you a lot. Knowing them will make you live a stress-free life. Knowing them will also enhance your capability on it. Knowing them will erase every iota of fear, of doubt that you have harbored so for a long time. For such a long time in your life. Knowing these foundational spirits or deities or your foundation will help you eliminate hearsay. It will help you to balance well. It will help remove every obstacle, every hindrance on your path. Moreover, it will help you know who you are. 
if you are in doubt, if you have gone for spiritual consultation, yet you don't want to believe who you are, especially those who are called to serve humanity and mankind using natural elements like air, water, wind, and fire. It will help you know why you are choosing to serve. Why the Spirit shows you. It will help you to know. It will help you to know your mission, your vision. It will help you to have focus. When you have now become familiar with them. You hear about the term familiar spirit. And you say it's demonic. Because that is what most of these Pentecostal churches do. They give negative projection to what is indigenous to us, especially the Igbos. Church e mega ni wa church me la intati. De ba ya ne zuzu zuzu na pupu a pupu. Fa fuzu ko hana se sa se. That is what religion has done to many of us. You lie with, in fact, with aplomb. You lie as if you are saying the truth, whereas you know deep within yourself that you are lying. You are so hypocritical. You are so wicked. So cunning, so conniving, so sneaky, so jealous and envious of people's progress. This is what Christianity promoted. It promoted it so much that it's as if it is as if it has become part of us. Mostly those in church, in organized religion. Organized religion has projected a lot of negativity in our society, that it has affected our community and communal living. Everybody is now afraid of each other. People build houses with high fences, you know, because they are afraid. Afraid of who? Your brother, your sister, your aunties, your uncles, your relatives. That is why most times, if you know your foundation, you don't have to entertain any fear. You don't even have to nurture it. Once you know who you are, you become confident. Your self-esteem, you know, skyrockets. You become intentional in living your life. Even though people complain about you and say you are this, you are that, Hence, you know within you that you do, you, you, are, you do not do evil to any man or woman. That you are on the right path. You continue. You forge ahead. Because many people will want to detect to you for you to live your life the way they want. Not the way it has been, you know, written down for you as your life path. They want to control you. They want to dominate you. They want you to succumb. To their own definition of you. Especially most of you that come from spiritual ancestral lineage. You end up, because you don't know yourself, you make that mistake of marrying a Christian uh, woman or a Christian man. Who will draw, br bring setback in your life. Because they do not understand you. Even at the end, if you discover yourself who you are, your ancestral foundation... And you take steps to restoring yourself. You are met with a, a, a fierce resistance. They start casting and binding you. That you are becoming possessed by the devil. Or those spirits. That they are now in charge. That you're, 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 you, are, you are destined for destruction. There is no how, there is no name they won't give to you. Because you have discovered your foundation. And you want to restore you want to mend that foundation you want to edify you want to align and appease those deities that were assigned by chineke to help your family here on earth to help your family achieve their potentials to help them be of service to humanity you meet this fierce resistance from your loved ones, they begin to stigmatize you. They begin to say all sorts of things against you. This is why uh, mental slavery is a, a very bad phenomenon in Africa and also in Igbo land. 
If we meant that slavery, we are still in those chains and we enjoy those chains ignorantly. Especially those in imported uh, religion. The way they assume everything about their culture is evil. I wonder why they still bear the name. They still live in the same town. I wonder why they are not, you know, yet uh, running away to live in those foreign countries that brought that religion to them. They are still living on that, those ancestral lands. They live there, you cast and bind your root, you cast and bind your foundation. Well, the funny thing is at the end of the day, they are doing the same to themselves. If you fire your foundation, your root, it's yourself you are firing. So you still receive it back. Like a haul back. That is how it's going to reflect. That is how it's going to bounce back on the sender of fire. The one funny thing about this prayer point in Pentecostal churches is that it makes them look like caricatures. It makes you that you are firing your uh, foundation. It makes you a caricature, an object of ridicule. Every evil foundation, every ancestral altar, every akiniko, akiniko. <laughs> I'm so appalled. I'm so surprised. Then after firing and blasting and kabashi, what happens? Don't you go back to square one? Has everything become normal for you? Has your life, your life, are you living it successfully? Have you given birth to children? Are you happy in that marriage? Are you not wallowing in poverty despite firing your foundation? I want to tell you something. Foundation is the pillar. The beginning is in Bido and the end of every human family on it. It is the head and tail of every single being, no matter your tribe, origin, or spiritual nature. Many people are suffering today as a result of foundational problems, either intentionally, you know, you caused it, or either knowingly or unknowingly, by the family involved. Listen to me. If you are born into a foundational family that has spiritual core, the spiritual call is either from your paternal side or from your maternal side. Either if it's from both sides, because most times it can be from both sides. You cannot escape it. All the fire you fire will come back to you. You just put your life in jeopardy, in disarray. When you ignorantly do that. There was a day I was traveling. I was inside a bus. A young man was, you know, so full of uh, zeal that he was praying against his own foundation. Of course, it attested to the fact that his father was a native doctor. Though the father is late. And he was so happy to talk about the way he went to the, their shrine, the uh, uh, ancestors' abode. He went to their Okumo and destroyed lots of things there. I was shocked. In fact, when I turned and looked at him, I looked at him, I felt pity for him. If you see the, if you see this young man, eh, a real definition of poverty, that is what you see on him. Number one, he's not looking healthy. Number two, what he is wearing on his body, in fact, rag is better than that. He looked unkempt with waterproof. Because those uh, ancestral abodes, ancestral altars that he destroyed, they are dealing with him. They are really, really dealing with him. 
And probably, because I don't think that he meant to, you know, start that his public preaching in a public bus. I guess that when he saw me and he saw my, my, my bead, you know, this bead, Aka bead that shows one that this person is a chosen one, that this is a Dibia, you know, is one of the symbol that stands you out as Onyolo. For people who, who know that Akabid, the original Akabid. When he saw it, and when he saw the cowrie ring on my finger, Makamwana Watase, <laughs> when somebody is looking at you, you know. Because I myself that I'm talking to you, I'm in good terms with my own foundation. So, Mwamuna Faye, Fancha Sumu. He looked so hard at me that I knew that something is bothering this young man. So when the vehicle, you know, we commenced the journey, when the vehicle moved on, it was like, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and sometimes when they say all this, they feel it has an impact against us. As in, if they say it does, you know, fire will come down and start burning the person. Is it not ignorance? So he said, everybody should cover their hair. Let us pray to God. This, that, and that. What is there? I didn't bow down my head. I didn't cover my head. I know who I am. We don't bow our head in ordinary. We don't remove our cap. Unfortunately, some elders do that. Remove their red cap. That is a story for another day. A story, uh, uh, you know, for discussion. Another day. So in defiance, he, f he felt that I defied him. He started, you know, preaching against native doctors. Against indigenous doctors against DBS, you know, thinking I would take offense. I didn't take it, uh, take it as anything. But my worry is that this poor chap does not know his foundation. Now he's misusing his gift. He doesn't know his area of call doesn't know his area of specialization. Why? Because he's still ignorant and his eyes of understanding have not been opened. But I guess by the time more messiliaife, by the time those spirits, you know, more dear more majorology, maybe safe, more ma even an dike. By the time they finish dealing with him, he will be begging for death to come. Death will not come. Until he goes back to repair those things. Oh, God. Oh, that is how it is. That is why I pitied him. Because he does not know what he is doing. Oh, my name is my name. My name is my name. His eyes of understanding will be open. So that he will realize what he has, he, he has done for, to himself. Against his family. Against everything that should work for him. Because this kind of people, you know, they believe they are warriors in Christ. So just uh, the Lord or uh, what do they call them? Prayer warriors or whatever name they choose to give themselves. He believe he has achieved a great feat by destroying all those things. You know? Instead of you to destroy those things, why don't you stay away? Why don't you stay away from that land that nurtured you, that made you who you are? When you married your wife, you're still living on that land. You inherited it. Why don't you disinherit the land and go and buy your own land, build your own house and stay away? Aside from that, can you stop that blood, that DNA in you that shows that you are from such foundation? Is it possible? It is not. So there are things that we should be very, very careful when we embark on. Rather than ignorantly and stupidly, you know, destroying things and destroying your life unknowingly. Why don't you stay away from those things? Leave it. 
until the person who is supposed to take charge answers that call and start taking charge of it. It's as good as, you know, being respectful to your ancestors, to those foundational spirits. So if you're born into a family that has spiritual call, you had better be careful. Because most times, before that, they don't know. They mislead others. They burn themselves up, trying to prove, you know, uh, stubborn or macho against uh, their foundational spirit or their ancestral, you know, lineage. The family genealogy can be from your great grandfather or mother's side or even great grandmother's side, depending on how the foundation stands. Now, do you know how that foundation stands? Do you know on what covenant it was established? And you go there in a male prayer warrior, in a male pastor, in a male prophet of imported religion. There is nobody that can stop it. All the spiritual, all the spiritual, all the spiritual, all the spiritual, Igbo, our own indigenous spirituality, or the bendy dereha. And you, because you feel you have acquired power from the strange J boy who does not have anything to do with your ancestral lineage, he doesn't even look like you. Huh? Inferiority complex has made a lot of people deviate. They have made a lot of people to stoop and succumb under white supremacy. That everything white, everything ndi beke wotela, no nyama kama kalian ken ahimwe ndi shoji. Some go to the extent of saying that we we the, uh, uh, thanks be to them that. Uh, they taught us a lot of things. If not for them, we will be running around naked. Do we know what is fun? I want to tell you today that civilization started in Africa. Every development started in Africa. The things your forefathers invented, you are so blind to see it. Now you can go to Google and make your research about blacks and black inventions all over the world. Make your research. To know what Dibia Wangu is saying. Because our people are so in tune with nature that the first thing they invent or try, they use nature to project it. Wood carvings, so priceless. The spoon you are using today was first carved as a wood. Now, these copycats will now come and say, okay. Uh, they did it they, using wood. Let us use our uh, let us use al aluminium to do, make our own spoon. Between the two, who are the originators? Who is the original? Which one is the original work? And who copied who? Is it bulletproof? The first person who invented it was a black woman. There are so many things our people need to make a research on. In fact, the information is out there. But because we don't have, uh, we don't read. Reading is not in our culture. That is why it's as if things are hidden from us. We need to wake up to know who we are. Know your foundation. Know how that foundation was built. Know what was used to build it and how it was sustained over the years before you became aware, before it came to your own generation. A generation and rope down everybody to be in bondage. This is what, you know, pisses me off when sometimes I have this encounter during Afa. You see someone being bold enough to say, hey, I destroyed this, I destroyed that, because then... Uh, I was ignorant. I didn't know. I'll, I will ask the question. Even if you are ignorant and you don't know, why didn't you leave all those things? Why? Still, because they know that you are their blood. Their DNA runs in you. Their gene. 
That is why most of you, they don't kill you outrightly. But they can't suffer where you go suffer, eh? No person will tell you. Until your eyes of understanding will start opening up. Before they will realize. And to repair those things, no be my mind, no be beans. You will spend a lot of money that will run into millions to repair altars. Because they had your goodness in mind. Yours, your forefathers. Covenant, you want to have a banyania? God, you feel me, boom, ha. None. It is for your protection, and whatever they did is obtainable. In those days, in their era, they did it to protect family. They did it for blessing, for prosperity, for success, for fruitfulness. You name it. Now, out of ignorance, you are terming everything evil and demonic. You are now battling the same foundation that stood for your forefathers. Are you not a saboteur? You have sabotaged the family by destroying those things, by renouncing your foundation. The only way I, I cancel people is if you find out that that uh, foundation was, you know, founded in falsehood, in, uh, using evil things, you know, that is where you stand to correct it. And the rest of it. If you find out, they behave like children. They will become happy with you when you recognize them, when you align with them. Depending on their function and uh, capability. Very simple. Rather than, in fact, majority are spreading falsehood because I'm yet to see. Even if, if, if it is worse, worst case scenario, yes, you can revert it. You can. Repair things. It doesn't record them. Once you find out. They know that because of important religion, everything, demonic, demonic, whether you are there or you are not, they said, they said, they told me, in, fact, they, in those days, they said that they did this, they did that. Hearsay. Because you allowed other people to tell your story. But when I caught on, I caught even in a juvenile against you. Can make it in inferiority complex. Can make it look lesser than them. Can make it a lord over you. For how long will you continue to, you know, wallow in such uh, stupidity? It is very wrong. We really need to wake up. And do things right. Never be a pioneer to destruction of any foundation. So you should learn this. What am I saying in essence? That you are aburu. Eh? If you have a solid spiritual foundation, aburu ndiolo, anyone born in such family will never succeed without being respectful paying attention and being in good terms with their foundational deities in their kindred. You have to be in good terms with your Those foundational deities, I will mention them to you so that you, you know them. Because I always say it, that 90% of what you do here on earth is spiritual. The rest is just 10%. So if you succeed, with the spiritual aspect, you will progress, you will flourish. The sky will be your starting point. So depending on how that foundation stands, how does it stand today? How is that your foundation? 
since you have discovered it or you have not, I want to know. 